Yo, what's going on guys, Arax here. And today I wanna to talk about Pragmata. More specifically, what exactly is happening to this game? Some of you guys might be like, what is Pragmata? I don't even know. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. It was announced back in 2020 and the trailer was really weird. The very first time we saw the trailer, honestly, I thought this was like an expansion for Death Stranding because it definitely had those Hideo Kojima vibes, but this is in fact a game developed by Capcom, and this is supposed to be a rather exciting new adventure. However, it has recently had a delay, so in this video I thought I would quickly recap what exactly is happening with Pragmata from the recent announcements, and kind of just give you guys a quick update. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below how many of you have seen this already, how many of you are seeing this and like, wait, what, I don't even know this was a game. Either way, let me know. Of course, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Definitely helps us out massively. It tells us if you guys are enjoying the content. And don't forget to subscribe because there's lots of good stuff coming this year. You definitely don't want to miss it on the channel. But top level, Pragmata, again, firstly was revealed back in 2020. The official synopsis for the game admittedly doesn't give us a great deal other than it says, lose yourself in a brand new sci-fi action adventure game from Capcom, the creators of Resident Evil and Devil May Cry. Excuse me, let's not forget Monster Hunter. Can't believe that wasn't in the official description. It says Pragmata will present players with a profound story and setting as cutting edge visuals take full advantage of next generation platform features all made possible by the power of the PlayStation 5 console. They do love putting that line in there. But yes, this is a game slated for PS5. Originally, when it was announced, it was slated for this year on PlayStation 5. However, they did recently drop a little announcement on the official Twitter account. They said, an update on Pragmata. Our team is hard at work on the project, but to ensure this will be an unforgettable adventure, we've decided to shift the release window to 2023. In the meantime, we have brand new artwork to share with you. Thank you for your patience. Also, the delay trailer is actually kind of funny because of course, Pragmata features this rather interesting astronaut looking character and also this little girl in a bomber jacket. She's basically sitting there looking a little bit sort of sorry for herself and she then holds up a little whiteboard where 2022 has been scratched out and it now features 2023 with a rainbow smiley face. So of course that's their sort of announcement for the delay, but the artwork actually looks really, really cool. It features the little sort of puffy Parker girl underneath this NPC cone and some AI looking random characters, words, whatever it is. Maybe something for us to decode. If any of you guys have an idea, definitely let me know. But either way, that uh, just in general, it's kind of a cool artwork that would definitely make a really nice phone wallpaper. So again, as we currently have it, it has been delayed until 2023. As a quick sort of recap, for those of you guys maybe are watching this video like I still haven't seen this before, what exactly is this game? Well, the original trailer sort of starts off with this futuristic astronaut exploring what appears to be this modern, albeit completely abandoned city street. The astronaut launches some kind of flare into the sky that allows them to track the sort of digital echo of a young girl in this sort of oversized parker. And then when it switches to the girl's perspective, she sort of stares at a planet in the sky and we see that she's joined by a holographic cat who has transparent skin. So you can sort of see all of its bones, guts, and all that stuff. The cat then leads her back to the astronaut and they seem to have a sort of hesitant reunion before sort of warp distortions start appearing around them. Then something crashes through the sky, literally through the sky, or of course what we thought to be the sky. So maybe one of those kind of, uh, you know, futuristic things where they're living in a bubble and it's kind of created to try and simulate the sky. Either way, whatever it is, with a planet or a moon hanging in the distance, it's actually revealed to be a giant screen as a satellite falls towards the ground. The astronaut and the girl are then flung towards the satellite and they're about to collide just as the girl interfaces with the astronaut's gear to create another flare round. This one then safely enmeshes them all into a giant ball of springy cables, launches them around the side of the satellite and out into the vacuum of space. Now admittedly that description doesn't really tell you what the game is but hey welcome to my world. We're basically in the position where we don't actually know what this game is other than maybe some sort of strange action adventure exploration like title. I think it's probably gonna be more than Death Stranding. We're not just gonna be delivering parcels, but either way, it definitely looks pretty strange. And sometimes when you have those sort of trailers where you just don't really know what's going on, it kind of makes me more interested, but they of course are gonna be leaning heavily into the sort of narrative of this, because again, it is presented as an experience that will give you a profound story and setting. So uh, I guess, just wait to find out more. But that's kind of what we have right now. Admittedly, there isn't a great deal else to talk about other than it's been delayed. It is now slated for 2023. Keep in mind, E3 has been announced to be digital this year. So again, we'll of course have, uh, you know, game trailers and stuff to look forward to around the middle of the year. Maybe, maybe they'll show something this year. Cause of course, if it's coming out next year, then I would imagine it's about time we get some kind of update. So uh, perhaps hold on to your seats and uh, see what we have later on this year. As and when we find out more, I'll definitely let you guys know. I definitely want to uh, find out what this game actually is, what we'll be doing. But uh, let me know if you guys are even remotely interested or you're just like, this is too weird. 
I don't even know what's going on. Come back to me later when we can see some gameplay. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to drop a like and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to catch more from us, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest uploads. And if you want somewhere to hang out, play games, or chat all things from games to anime, food to fitness, consider joining the Arix Gaming Discord.